Okay, this is lesson 1B and we're going to tackle a simple bit of tweening. So, right, okay, I've got my my flash file text um, which I'm going to basically just have rolling from the left to the right and into position at the top. So I move it this is the move tool here and in the frame section I'm just going to add 12 frames now as you know it runs at 12 frames a second so this will literally be a second's worth of of footage now I'm slowing, showing you the slow way to do this and we need to god I don't even know the slow way to do it there we go there we go insert timeline and go down to frame but notice I put it on there before I did that easy way to do it press F5 a lot less hassle then select anywhere in here doesn't matter where anywhere even there it selects the whole line or individually then right click and go create motion tween it doesn't look like it's done anything and you might notice also that our white circles have disappeared that's because they're no longer showing because we're out of that frame and they're only the circles have only been put in frame one so frame two they're not going to show so if we click on the, the start of the animation then it's there we're going to need it over here but before I do that because I like the position of it I'm just going to set the end frame so I go to the end frame which is frame 12 and then I simply add um, the keyframe there so I right hand click and insert keyframe okay that sets the end so then I go back to here and select that first frame and then with the move tool I grab it I'm holding the shift because I don't want it to go up and down by holding the shift it's stopping it from moving if I haven't got the shift on then I can accidentally move it down there which I don't want to do so I take it off of stage which means off of showing area and release it now because I want the circles to show I'm going to select the frame there and you can do it this way right hand click insert frame or again F5 so now I'm going to play that so if I go back to play one in frame one and then I just hit the enter you'll see it flies in now there's a couple of settings in this that are useful one is the ease in and ease out if you select the frame and you'll come down here and you're seeing the properties um, dialog box down the bottom here you've got ease there's basically if you set it 100 it will fly in really quickly and if you set it minus it will slowly come in well I want it to kind of slowly come in so I watch the effect here and now you'll see it kind of slowly coming and you can in fact set the first frame to be higher so you get an exaggerated kind of whoa wafting which is pretty cool okay that's simple um, tweening I'm also going to now tween I want this to sort of rotate down into position so I'm going to click here I'm going to do it the same as I did before create motion tween set an end point that's where I want it to end uh, press F6 on your keyboard or insert frame come back to the first frame I'm going to get it and here we go I'm now using the free transform tool which allows me to modify and twist things and I'm going to grab it and move it up in size quite a lot I'm going to zoom out so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to twist it slightly so the effect is it will sort of twist in. Now if we play that we can see it. So that sort of does that. But um, it's pretty good but it's obscuring the lettering underneath. Um, so I'm going to now, when you create a tween it automatically turns it into a graphic object. 
which means that you've got more options open to you. So if you come down here and you look at color and it says none, it's because nothing's been applied to it. But there are other ones, and alpha is setting the how transparent it is. So I'm going to set that down to zero. So what will happen is in that frame it's zero. When it gets to the end, it will rotate and come up to full color. So now we watch the animation. Make it a bit clearer. And now, so there you go. So we've got a little tween action. Now that I carry on repeating because I haven't put any actions on it. But that's enough for this lesson. So see you in the next lesson for actions in Flash. Let me just export the movie, show you how it's going to work. In this case, lesson 1B. Save that. OK. Save this file. So using this file, I'm going to be showing you all of the techniques right the way through. Right, I'm now going to open this. show you the animation there it goes and it'll just keep repeating so there you go that's a bit more movement to your flash animation file and join me in lesson two and we'll be looking at action scripts or actions within frames and I might even introduce some buttons and show you how they work